Dan, thank you, Ken. Um, just like the rest of the fighters, I want to thank Showtime just for the opportunity. Um, that's the biggest thing that I think Showtime has afforded every, every man, every fighter in this tournament. It's just an opportunity to show what they have. Outside of this tournament, I can almost guarantee everyone that I would not have gotten the opportunity to fight the best back to back to back like I have. So it's uh, just a tremendous, tremendous feeling to be a part of this. It's also a great burden because you have one top-notch fighter after another, but this is what we signed up for. I want to acknowledge really quickly Johnny Tapia, uh, former great champion, someone I grew up watching, uh, one to emulate and uh, respect him very well. Johnny, I just want to acknowledge you, man. Uh, I saw Raul Marquez out there, another former world champion, and uh, also Sergio Martinez. Um, just really quick, a lot of people, you know, throwing the word out favorite very loosely, just like we throw the word gray out very loosely. Um, the reason I'm not the favorite in my eyes, in, in, in the eyes of my camp and my team, is because I still don't feel like the just do is there. I don't take it personal, but I use it as motivation, I use it as fuel. Um, when I beat Miranda, they said he was washed up. You know, everybody said, what's gonna happen if Miranda hits him? Well, he hit me and I probably got hit in that fight a little bit more than I wanted to. I felt, I showed everybody I could bite down and uh, fight back and, and do what I had to do. It was still an excuse there. When I fought Mikael Kessler, um, now people are saying that he was finished after he fought Joe Calzada. And once again, the credit still wasn't there. And he wasn't the same guy that he was before the fight as he was after. Fought Alan Green, another guy who is, was called the most feared man in the division. And uh, someone who nobody wanted to fight. Felt like we did well in that fight. We did what we had to do. Credit still wasn't there. He was way drained. He wasn't prepared, so on and so on. Saki Obika, another guy who was feared in the division. Somebody no one wanted to fight because he was dangerous. Um, I fought his fight in that fight. It wasn't the prettiest fight, but we won ugly and we did what we had to do. That's why Andre Ward is not the favorite. And that's why I train with a chip on my shoulder, because there's more to prove. Um, I appreciate, like my trainer said, everybody who says that we're the favorite from a point standpoint. I even appreciate cracking the top 10 is something that I wanted to do for a very long time, and God willing, I'll be at the top of that list one day. But there's still plenty of work to be done. When I fight Arthur Abraham next week, I prepare for the best. I know what Arthur Abraham brings to the table. He's very determined. He wants to redeem himself. But you guys have to understand that so do I. I feel like there's a lot to prove and there's a lot still to be done. And I take being the WBA Super Middleweight Champion of the World very seriously. I respect every fighter in this tournament and I respect the sport. And I prepare accordingly and I prepare to put on a tremendous performance next week. Thank you.